Hi friends, welcome back to my channel you guys. Today we have a seafood boil. We also have a lot of seafood sauce on the side. We also have cucumbers. I'm so excited to eat with you guys. Hopefully you guys are eating something really good on the other side of the screen as well. To drink today, we are drinking Poppy. This is the watermelon flavor. I love the cherry limeade, but you guys, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I just got my nails done. I don't wanna scratch them. I went red for Christmas. Well, ho Thanksgiving, holidays. The holiday spirit is here. And I was like, oh my God, we have to do red nails. They look so good. They're a little bit musty right now because I was cooking, um, but also, they, ah, oh, you guys, they're, I'm obsessed. So, so good. I'm going to pour my poppy in my favorite container right now. Oh, if you guys could smell this, it smells like a starburst. It smells so good. It tastes amazing. It's good for your gut in my clear container. I got a question about this. I got two or three people asked me about this, and I just wanted to let you know. I will link it down below. I got it on Amazon. It comes with this thing that wraps around it, but I took that thing off because I was not down for the rubber thing, and I just ended up with this clear container. So I will post a link for you if you guys are interested in this thing. It doesn't keep your beverage cold all day long because obviously it's glass. If you guys want something that will keep your beverage cold, then you have to go with like a Stanley or like a Simple Modern or like the coldest water containers. This is just glass. It's pretty to look at and if you'll drink this whole thing, then it's perfect. But, okay, bon appetit. The watermelon one tastes so freaking good. So we have some scraps in here. I was filming a little Tiki Talk. I had a few bites, okay? But now we're really gonna eat. So I'm really excited. This sauce right here is, um, ooh, I don't remember the creator's name. Oh my goodness, it's really long. Some, uh, ooh. Le Lienza? No. Oh my gosh. But I will 100% link her TikTok account down below. I really enjoy her videos. She makes these little homemade seafood packages. And all you have to do is order from her. She'll send it directly to your house. And then you just add it into butter and garlic and you're good to go. And it's actually really good. Um, I just discovered her maybe a few months ago and I watch all of her videos. Turns out she's a subscriber of mine and I'm really, really um, excited to be supporting her small business. But you guys, it's so good. Mmm. It says to add the whole package, but I think you'll be okay with half, half the seasoning package. And then I put a bunch of garlic and butter. Mmm, so good. The one back here, this is from Kicking Crab. You guys know I love the Kicking Crab sauce. It's amazing. But yeah, I'll link her sauce down below. Go support her small business, you guys. She's really, really good. They taste very different from one another. Mmm. I've never really been a dipper until I've had like really good sauce. Can you guys see? I want to make sure you guys can see the food. Woo! So good. Again, we're not doing white rice. I actually haven't had rice in a little bit. I made, um, oh, I want to show you guys this dish that I love making Michelle. And I literally make it for her all the time and she packs it home. Not all the time. She needs a break from it once in a while because if she eats it too much, then she ends up like hating it. <laughs> but it's so easy to make. But that was the last time I had rice. Oh, I want to film that. Mm. Oh my God. I love when the crawfish has eggs inside. It's my favorite. Mm. Oh my God, just as I was saying. 
Look, this one has eggs, you guys. Oh my god. I want to show you. Do you guys see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you guys see it? Do you see the orange eggs in there? I don't even. Hang on. Let me be a little beauty YouTuber. Ugh, this sucks. I don't. There is a little autofocus square, and I think it's down here. Do you guys see it? Also, can we admire the nails? I want to show you my nails. Nail time. Little nail moment. <laughs> that is so good. I love eggs and seafood. Some people don't like it, but I love it. Like when there's eggs and lobster tail, I'm there. Oh my god, more eggs? What the heck? Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky today. Mmm. Yum. Yeah, I got my nails done today. One of the reasons why I never get color on my nails is because sometimes, like, I'm a very anal person, and if, like, my nail polish chips, even though I get gel, I just do, like, crazy things with my hands. And if they chips, it, like, really bothers me. That's why I do, like, a beige or a nude color, because you can't really notice, but... Since it's the holiday season, I went red and I was cooking earlier and a little piece chipped right here. Carlos says you can't notice it, but I can. So let's just pray that nothing chips. I never do color. I always do like beige or something. The crawfish is not fresh, it's frozen. Because it's not crawfish season. So I'm not sucking head, okay? We only suck fresh head in this house. Mmm. Oh my god. The kicking crab sauce hits. This one's a little sweeter. This one's saltier. Have you guys started um, decorating yet for Christmas or Thanksgiving? Everyone's like, my tree went up November 1st. I'm all about decorating in November because we always host Thanksgiving at our house. And I want when people to come over, the house is like festive and it's cozy and it's warm and welcoming and all the decor is up. So that's why I decorate in November. But I also feel like if you decorate starting in December, you only get to enjoy it for one month. I want to enjoy it for like two months. I do take my decor down like mid-January. my king crab. It's from Alaska. Oh my god. That's so good. Woo! Oh, wait. Let's do the, let's do the sauce. Bomb. Ooh, this one seems meaty. Like, look at the, the knuckle on this thing, you guys. Oh my gosh. 
Holy shit. That is wild, bro. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I present to you king crab meat. Bon appétitis. I'm so pissed. <clears throat> That's bomb. Wow. I am so grateful for this piece of meat. Scoop all that goodness. When king crab leg is not salty, that is when it's good. Fresh king crab legs, you guys. Mmm. Anyways, about Christmas. Yeah, I don't know what theme I want to do. Carlos doesn't really care about all that decorating stuff. He honestly just leaves it up to me. He's like, I'm happy with whatever. So I don't know what to do um, for my theme this year. I've been looking at... I've been looking at different inspiration stuff, like on Pinterest and on TikTok and stuff. And um, I think, okay, well, first and foremost, if you're on TikTok, have you guys see have you guys seen this Home Depot viral tree that's going around? It is so tempting because it's trending right now. I went to Home Depot yesterday to look at the tree in person. I will say it's really freaking pretty. First of all, it's five hundred dollars. It's very expensive. Um. I heard it's $1,000 in Canada. I don't know if you guys know that for US subscribers. Do you guys know that? It is $1,000 in Canada, but $500 in the US. Insane. But what I was saying was like, I just don't think that it's like worth $500. I think like the most, the prettiest thing about this tree is that it twinkles. Does my tree twinkle? No. Was I tempted to buy this tree? Yes, because it twinkles. But we don't need it. If you have a tree at home that you already love, like we actually have two trees that we love because we put one tree in the front of the house and one tree in the back. And our trees were pretty pricey, but like they're really good quality. I felt like the Home Depot one felt very plastic. I don't know. But everyone's talking about it. I dragged my ass to Home Depot yesterday just to look at it. It is really pretty. I will say it's a little bit plastic, but I am jealous that if you have it, your tree twinkles. But if you're looking for a tree, it is a good tree. But I went to Walmart yesterday. I had a little like shopping spree at Walmart. I had the time of my life. They had the best Christmas stuff out. Walmart Christmas trees, you can get a seven and a half foot Christmas tree for like $150 at Walmart. Ooh. Oh my god. So good. Oh. 
a potato. Yeah, I don't know how to decorate my house yet for the holidays. We're gonna decorate um, after next week because we have some plans and we're kind of busy this month. So we're gonna decorate after next week. I'm gonna vlog it on my vlog channel. Mmm. I'm so excited. I'm really in the holiday spirit this year. Mmm. This sauce is so good. The Eagles played the Cowboys today and I had to leave the house because they were tied for like the first two quarters and I could not, I could not you guys. I was fearing for my life. My husband was just so mad at the TV. Thank God the Eagles ended up winning because he's very happy. But I left the house. I went to get my nails done. And I went and got a pedicure. I was relaxing. Also, I posted something on Instagram this morning. And I want to have this conversation with you guys, okay? The women out there. The wives, the girlfriends, even the moms. I have a question. Why do men have holes in their underwears? I posted that on Instagram this morning because I was genuinely curious. Currently, my husband, not to expose him or anything, he really doesn't care. Currently, my husband has two holes in his underwear. And I'm just like, bro, is it the acid from your farts? Is it you adjusting your balls all the time? Is it the crevice rubbing against each other with the balls in the middle? Like, what, I know this conversation is not really like, I guess you would say mukbang appropriate, but whenever I film my mukbangs, I like to pretend that I'm having dinner with you guys because I know you're on the other side listening and you're probably choking midway on your food right now and I hope you're okay. But this is a conversation I would genuinely have with Michelle at dinner. So I'm gonna have it with you guys. I genuinely don't understand how men get so many holes and they're not even like little holes. They're big holes, you know, like they're, we're talking like craters where like the balls are falling through. Like at this point, this piece of undergarment needs to be thrown away in the trash. Okay. It just needs to go. But then the second problem we're running into is why does my husband want to keep it? Why does he continue wearing it? That it is like really, I'm like, is it an attachment thing? He, he says that since he wore it today with his two holes and the Eagles one, now it's the good luck underwear. Now we're on a different story. We're, we're not throwing away this piece of undergarment that has the two holes. Now it's considered the good luck underwear. Now he wants to keep it. This piece of undergarment is not protecting things that it needs to be protecting. So... I guess my, my first, you know, experimental question is why are the holes happening? And two, why do you want to keep it and continue wearing it? But I don't know. Maybe you guys can chime in on this. Um, I got a lot of responses on Instagram. Apparently there are a lot of girlfriends, wives, moms out there that agree why men have men, boys, all of them have holes in their underwear. Apparently, I'm not the only one. I felt so seen this morning. I felt like my emotions were very valid. Um, and then everyone was like, yeah, Kim. And then they end up keeping it. And I'm like, oh my God. So my husband is not Delulu. There are a bunch of people like him. Great conversation to have. Just curious, you know? Because I'm like, what are you... What are you doing that you got craters up in there? So now Carlos is gonna, oh my God, I just dropped my, Carlos is gonna continue wearing that because the Eagles won today. Oh, and then another question, since it's football season, you guys, I literally was losing brain cells, trying to understand why the heck the Kansas City Chiefs and 
Is it the Dolphins? I don't know the other team. I lost brain cells trying to understand why the Kansas City Chiefs, which is a U.S. team in Kansas City, why are they playing in Germany? That doesn't make sense to me. From what I gathered, oh my God, that was a lot. From my research, there is no reason. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. There is no reason, allegedly, they got so much money in the NFL <coughs> that they're just gonna have a game in Germany. <coughs> we have so much money, let's just uh, have a little game in Germany, have a little game, apparently they do it in Mexico too. A little, a little away game, you know, let's ship the whole entire two teams and their, their whole entire corporation and just fly them to another country for a quick game. But apparently it's to like expand the fan base for the NFL or something like that. Oh. Do they even have football in Germany? No, right? Football's like a US thing, right, 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 right? Mm. I want to. Oh my god. I have to sneeze. <sighs> Bless you. Thank you. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. <clears throat> I've reached that age where if I sneeze too hard, I pee a little. It's happening. You guys, it's happening. Please let me know that I'm not alone in this. Surprise, surprise. It's been stuck in my head all day. Mm. I miss my rice. The next seafood boil we have, I have to have rice. I haven't had it in a while with my seafood boils. Oh my God. I have a cut somewhere on my finger because it's burning. Mm. Mm. The watermelon poppy tastes really good. It's, it's, um, if it's your first time, I feel like you should start with the watermelon because it's a little bit sweeter than the other one, but the cherry limeade is really good. I'm gonna be drinking water all night. Mm. I always take this thing out when it's too hairy. Yum. Full, you guys. Okay, friends. Thank you so much for having dinner with me. I actually want more, one more muscle. I love muscles. So excited for the mukbangs to come. I actually won't be home for the next few days because. I'm gonna be filming in other places. 
I'm so excited for the mukbangs that you guys will see in the next week. I love you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my vlog channel. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Like this video. I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and having dinner with me. I appreciate you. And I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll see you uh, in tomorrow's video. I love you. Bye.